Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to install the new macOS Catalina using a bootable USB. The steps are much simpler than you think and I'm going to walk you through each of the steps in this video. Okay, without further delay, let's get started. First, you need to download macOS Catalina installer file. So just go to App Store. So you can see here macOS Catalina or you can just download it here. If you cannot find it, just type in macOS Catalina. Here, just click download. You can see the file size is 4.9 gigabytes, but the full version is actually not 4.9, it's 8.1 gigabytes. However, if it only allows you to download the 19 megabytes version of the macOS Catalina installer file, then you need to delete it and install the profile from the website that I have included in the description. The website called betterprofiles.com scroll down you will see this one it's a mac os beta profile click download it downloads then you double click on it double click to install you continue continue agree install type in your administrator password done and then you restart the computer try downloading again if it still only allow you to download the 19 megabytes version not the full version then the last choice is you just click on the link in my description I have a direct link to download this file for some reason my iMac here that I'm showing you here it doesn't allow me to download the full version of macOS Catalina what's funny is that the size here is say 4.9 but after I downloaded it using my MacBook it's 8.1 gigabytes so after you completed download Downloading it, the installer file is usually stored in applications folder. Here, you can see it's 8.1 gigabytes. That's the full version. So next, you need a flash drive of about 16 gigabytes to create a bootable USB. You cannot use the 8 gigabytes flash drive because the installer file is already 8.1. So you need at least 16 gigabytes of flash drive. So let me plug in mine here. So here's my flash drive. I already turned this flash drive into a, a bootable flash drive for macOS Catalina, but I will show you again. So you need to download an application called Install Disk Creator. This one. The link for this application is in the description. You can download it and install it. Let's say if you install it and then you try to open it like mine and then it pop up the message saying moving to trash. That means you need to type in some code first because Apple only allows application to be downloaded directly from App Store. If it is downloaded from website, then it won't allow it to be opened. So just type in some code if you have that problem. If you don't, if you can open it like this, then you don't have to type in the code. The code is simple. It just allows the third party apps to run on your Mac. So you just go to terminal, just click on command space to activate spotlight search and you type in terminal, click enter. So it looks like this. Yours may have different colors, usually white, but I change it to dark. So you type in this code, sudo sptlc space dash dash master dash disable. And then you click enter. And then you type in your administrative password or your login password. And then you're good to go. You type it in and click enter and you're done. I already done so I don't want to type it again. And this code I have also included in the description if in case you cannot see it here. So after you're done typing the code, then you can go back and open this app again. And this time it will pop up not the one that say move to the trash again. It would say open. You click on the word open, you can open this. And now it's time to make a boot above USB. So at the top here, you just select the volume. It means the drive that you want to turn into a bootable USB. In my case, this one. If it is inside the application folder, usually this app automatically detect where it is. You don't have to select it. It already automatically selected for you. If in case it does not detect, you just click on choose a macOS installer and go to where you save it, click on it, and you're good to go. So what you do next is click on the word create installer. It will say this, erase disk. So whatever inside that flash drive, it will be gone. Click erase. You tap in your administrator password. Click OK 
And if this pop up, that's normal. It's an error encounter. You try one more time. Select the same drive. Click create one more time. Click erase disk. If you see that your flash drive is gone from here, disappear, it means it's not working. Just wait for it to finish the process. It may take a while. Now the bootable USB is complete, click on OK. And if you install macOS Catalina on this computer, you just leave. You just leave the flash drive plugged in like this. Restart the computer. Now this is the flash drive, the bootable USB. So make sure you plug it in. If you take a look at my macOS right now, it's High Sierra. I want to upgrade it to macOS Catalina. So just restart it. Make sure you press on the option key on the keyboard. Press hold it. Okay, now you can see there are two choices. If you want to install from a flash drive, click on this one. So install macOS Catalina and you click on the up arrow here. It will start booting from there. Just wait for it. And now you can see there are four choices. You click on install macOS, click continue. Click continue, agree, agree again. And now you select which partition or drive you want to install your macOS Catalina. So this one here, it's the default option. Click on it, click install, continue. It will start the process. It may take a while, but it would be much faster than you let it download directly from online. Okay, this is offline, it's from the flash drive, so it will be faster. Just wait for it to finish the process. Now the installation process is complete, click on continue. So now I'm running macOS Catalina right now. Okay, that's it guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video.